Hey guys, welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we will learn to take input from users and store it in variables. So let's get started. In C programming, we use the scanf function to take input from the user. The scanf function takes input from the user and store it in a variable. Similar to printf, the concept of format specifier is also used here. Let's see an example. As we have already discussed in our previous video, this is the basic outline of every C program. So I'll continue on this. First I'll declare a variable int is. Now I will use scanf function to take the input from the user and finally I'll use printf function to print the variable. Now let me explain it in much detail. Here is an in variable to store the input data and notice the scanf function. It has two parts. First is the format specifier that represents the type of input data. In this case, it is an integer. And second is the variable name. Notice that we have used the ampersand before the variable name. Here ampersand represents the memory address and ampersand is represents the memory address of the is variable. Don't worry about the memory address for now. We will learn about them in upcoming videos. Now, the scanf function will take the integer input from the user and store it in the address of the is variable. To verify that the input value is stored in the variable, I am also printing the variable using printf function. Now let me run this code. Here you can see the cursor. I'll provide value 22 and press enter. As you can see, the input value is printed. Here initially I get confused about where to find the cursor to input a value. So I'll print a message to ask the user for the input value using printf statement. So printf bracket inside quotation I'll write message enter input value now let's run this as you can see i get the message enter input value i'll provide 22 and press enter here you can see the value is printed now this message enter input value make it obvious to input value okay guys we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe. If you haven't already, let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Now that we know how the scanf function works, let's use it to take the double and character input. I'll use the same program from earlier and I'll remove this part. Now first I'll create two variables double number and character alphabet then i'll use printf function to print the message for the user enter double input and similarly i'll use scanf function to get the input from the user Here you can see, I have used percent %LF to take the double input. Now, I'll use printf function to show the message again. Enter character input and I'll use scanf function to take the character input from the user. And finally, I'll print both the values using printf function. Now, before we run this program, I'll add here backslash n so that we get a readable output. Now, let's run this program. For double input, I'll enter 22.1. And for character input, I'll enter jet. 
As you can see, the double and the character values are printed as expected. In our earlier program, we took double and character input from the user. For that, we have used to scan a function. However, we can also take multiple inputs together using a single scan of function. Let me show you. I have the same code from earlier. I'll first remove this code. Now I'll change this text from double input to input values. Now in the scanf function, I'll add percent %c after percent %lf and I'll add here ampersand alphabet after ampersand number with comma in between. Here in the scanf, percent %lf is used for double input and percent %c is used for character input. Now let's run this code. I'll provide 30.6 double value and then character value C and then press enter as you can see respective values are printed. Now that I have shown you many examples of taking double and character inputs from the user I want you to write a program to take integer and float input from the user so go ahead and comment your program. Now we are at the end of this video it's time for program is quiz. What is the correct way to take double input? Comment your answer below. If you want to revise the concept, you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository. The link is in the video description below. See you in the next video. Happy programming!